Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Brennan again. And today we're going to talk about the CrossFit. Yes, the CrossFit. And the reason we want to talk about this is because I get asked enough, so I'm going to make a video. And that's typically how things work on this channel. You ask enough, a video will be made. Now, I know you people that ask about my tattoos are shaking your head and saying that's bullshit, but that's for another video. Or is it? Anyways, I wanted to talk about the CrossFit today only because there's a large majority of people out there who participate in it, and there's also a large majority of those out there who hate it. And I would say a good part of that majority who hate it also watch this channel. So, what's up, everybody? But I wanted to give you just my feedback, the good, the bad, and the ugly on it because it's my channel. I can do whatever the hell I want. So, as far as CrossFit goes, let's start with the good because... It does have some good tendencies in it. Now, first of all, if you don't watch CrossFit, it gives you Rich Froning. Now, he's dreamy. And it also gives you Katie Hogan, eh, if that's your cup of tea. But these are two prime level athletes, and there's a ton of great examples out there that really give CrossFit a good name, so to say. And in fact, CrossFit is good in the fact that it's really brought to the attention of many people the importance of some of these big compound movements. Now, in the past, when people thought of exercising who weren't necessarily going out and participating themselves, they might think about things like aerobics, Thai bow, hell, even the thigh master, shake weight. But nowadays, a lot of people who weren't previously involved in any kind of athletics or aerobics or exercise have jumped full into CrossFit, and in some cases, way too far in full. But the nice thing is, is that CrossFit really emphasizes some of these big key movements that we've been a part of. Now, of course, there's other things that we'll get to in the bad, but as far as this goes, squats, deadlifts, cleans, a lot of Olympic lifts have really been brought to the forefront of everybody's mind. And in the past, not everyone might know what these things are, but now pretty much everyone and their mother has seen pictures of grandma's deadlifting. So there is some good to come with it because again, with this, not only is it bringing more attention overall to CrossFit, but also into other aspects as well. So you guys probably saw that I did the review of the Reebok Power Shoe, which is labeled a CrossFit shoe, I know, but it is in fact a powerlifting shoe and Mark Bell and Jesse Burdick probably would have never gotten the money to fund that if not for CrossFit. So we have them to thank for that as well. Now, as far as the bad goes, what I would say I think is the same that everyone would say, and that is the fact that although it does promote a lot of these big key movements, these huge compounds that we're a part of, it also promotes a lot of bad things in terms of doing them over and over again to the point of failure in some cases, to the point where you're timed for these. So with that, oftentimes form goes out the window, which then can lead to a lot of potential injury. So with CrossFit, you get a lot of great movements, but it's very rare to see someone always perform them well. Now, I should say with this, though, that with anything that we talk about, there's always going to be a good and the bad. So with CrossFit, I'm highlighting the bad people, the bad coaches that are out there, but there are also plenty of people who do a great job at it, at explaining it, at performing the lifts. And the same thing can be true about powerlifting or bodybuilding. There's always those douches out there who give our sport a bad name. <laughs> Now, as far as the ugly goes, what I would say is probably my biggest problem with CrossFit is the fact that a lot of people who participate in it have a very elitist attitude. And what I mean by that is they think they're better than everybody else, whether it be through their Facebook, Instagram posts, them kind of trying to chime in. And it's almost very cult-like in some cases. And it's really frustrating to me only because, look, I know, I get it. You do CrossFit. Congratulations, you should be very proud of yourself. However, you shouldn't shove it or your ideas down people's throats. And that's oftentimes the problem because there's a lot of misunderstanding about CrossFit and how beneficial it could potentially be. And what I mean by that is if you even go onto the CrossFit site itself, it shows right on there that as far as muscle hypertrophy goes, CrossFit is actually better than bodybuilding. Yeah, I know, interesting. So. With CrossFit, there's some good, there's some bad, and there's some ugly, but I think the same can be true of anything. In my broad opinion overall, I would have to say that it's a good thing because again, it's getting a lot more people involved with the sport, with lifting, with knowing more about it than they would have in the past. Not to mention a lot of great companies like Rogue and other manufacturers have really stepped their game up to cater to these, and you're seeing a lot more gyms open, and more gyms is good for everybody, except for maybe Planet Fitness, but again, that could be a different video. So that's my opinion on CrossFit. Let me know yours in the description box below. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.